Good evening everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is keeping safe and keeping well. As you can see, I have an unboxing to do. This one is something from FMS. So without any further messing around, let's get this outer shell off so we can see what we've got inside. And there it is, the Palatus PC21 by FMS. Obviously it says it's a 1100mm wing. Reflex version 2 it comes with. Got flaps, retracts, and what got me really excited. Those of you who follow my channel will know how much I love three bladed props. Or four bladed. This is five. It's got five blades on the prop. How awesome is that? Now I'm fortunate enough, okay I fly from grass. And the videos I've seen show this at a peculiar angle and the actual prop clearance isn't that much from the, it's got a front uh, nose wheel of course but because our grass field is very well maintained I should be okay it's a long aircraft but it looks like a shark to me it looks it's moving even when it's not it's sleek I just fell in love with it and I've thought of a name for it it's going to be called Scarlet Let's look at the specifications before we open the box. A few things to point out. Seven 9 gram servos in it. Centre of gravity 90 to 95 millimetres from the leading edge. That is way back. And it has a 10 by 7 by 5 prop. Ooh. And it takes a 4S. I've got to check my 4S's because I think mine are bigger than 3300. But I'll check them out. Let's start off looking at that prop. Look at that. It reminds me of one of those throwing stars. <laughs> wow, what a prop. All one piece. FMS 10x7. Looks absolutely fantastic. Here's the spinner. It's a brittle plastic, but it's nice and shiny. Seems to be quite elongated. Here's the spinner back plate. Again, it engages with the motor shaft through a nut shaped recess. But you notice here, it's got a a key really because the back of the prop well and the front but the back of the prop has the same fittings and they lock into place like that and then this literally just pops over and the fit is gorgeous look at that Very nice. There's a very small spar here, and I'm taking a guess that that's for the tail plane. Just a guess. Here's the operating manual or instructions, build instructions. There's a list of the contents. And it looks like everything just screws together. This is pretty normal with FMS now. The specifications again. Won't dwell on those too long. Here's the reflex system. Instructions, let's just go over to that. This part's normal, whether it's a reflex V1, V2. This part is different. This is where you can load the preset configuration for the stabiliser for whatever aircraft you're running. It's a bit redundant because you're going to use it in this one. And it's already loaded. Then you've got it in English, German, French and Chinese. So that's for your reflex system. Just a word of caution, 
you can buy these by themselves seems a brilliant idea why not buy a reflex v2 download the stabilization information into it for the aircraft you have install it fms does not have the codes for a majority of their aircraft for the reflex systems just be warned about that if you're thinking of doing it i fell into that i purchased three reflex v2s and they didn't have the coding for any of the aircraft that i had planned to fit them into very straightforward pictorial information which screws to use how to collect your clevis and horns up put the wings on canopy latch very sketchy picture of where to put the battery but never mind depends what battery you use how to connect up your receiver direction your prop should spin high and low rates for your elevator aileron and rudder that's quite important information Have to put your prop on and there's the magic center of gravity how to measure it you get the usb cable that's necessary to reprogram the reflex 2 box plug it into your computer plug that into the box and then you run the software and then here's a goodie bag Got four long screws, a couple of small screws, push rod with a clevis, a couple of red pointy stick things, which I believe are fake pito tubes that you push into the wing. I won't be bothering. And the uh, finishing part of the prop, nut and spinner. And that's it, that's all you get, that's all you need. Here's the uh, tailplane. Or horizontal stabilizer and elevator all foam hinge that's the bottom really good paint job on it see it's got a spar in here reinforcing it and a spar across here or a spar hole because I suspect that spar I showed you is what goes into here this is a bit confusing because it definitely has screw points, one there and one there. But it's got no paint there which would say to me you glue it. But I don't think you do, I think you just push it in and screw it in. But we shall see. This is the elevator connector, because they come in two halves. And it's a great system because all this is moulded. And the other half has a receptacle part, it has the male part which goes into this female part and it's a square socket connection. So once they're in, they're locked in and it moves as one piece. Very good idea. And you can see that here. All they do is chamfer the edges of the square off so it goes in better. And of course this plastic moulding, this one actually has the horn on it, it's integral to it. You know, so those would go together like that, I won't force them too much. And then it's all one unit, look at that. It's really good. Uh, the white marks are decals, but they've been clever enough to cut them and bend these flat, so it's really well done. Then there's the wing. It is fantastic. It's got a bit of weight to it, but it's got a lot in it. It's got scale moulding, panel lines and detail in it. Very nice. These are stickers. 
See it that way. Well, it's got flaps and ailerons. All your connectors come into this junction box. And then you've got cables coming out from the junction box that go down into the wing. Very nice indeed. Now let's take a look at the other side where all the business is. Oh, right, here we go. FMS 9 gram digital servos, four of them. Connected, push rods on. Connected to the horns, along with some fuel tubing holding them all in place. Flaps, ailerons, retracts. Now the retracts, as far as I know, have no give in them, and they're plastic. So that could be something I look at as a first upgrade to this. The wheels are held on with one of these C-clips, not keyed on that. Put a tiny blob of foam tack on the C-clip and the axle, making sure you don't get it on the wheel and it will hold that in place. Won't accidentally come off. Let's stay on just one side of the wing, because it's exactly the same on the other side. Not sure how I feel about what they've done with the wiring here. Obviously it's in channels, but they've just used these little plastic clips to hold it all in. Not sure how I feel about that. What I might do is get some red tape and just run red tape over it. There's your white Swiss crosses. And of course it's the same on the other side. Here's your plastic moulding that goes through for your screws to join your wing. There's no peg and hole system here, unless this whole part goes into something. I don't know, I don't think so, because normally you have a plastic plate here with two pegs on it that goes into holes, so it'll be good to see how that works. The flaps, I've been told, are quite well designed. Let's see if we can just move one a bit. Yeah, there you go. Now that's a shame. They're not split flaps, but they are integrated into the wing. It would have been nice to see that painted actually under here. Hmm, very nice. Lots of scale panels all over it. Especially these oval ones. They seem to have gone mad on these oval panels mouldings. <laughs> Retract cover, nothing for the main wheels but that's okay, maybe it, the actual real thing doesn't have them. There's your wing, whew, that's a monster, said the actress, no no no. Look at this, holy cow, <laughs> for an 1100 that's a big aircraft. Anyway, let's go through this. It looks like you've got, I wanted to say it looks like you've got cooling here. You've got a great big mouth air intake, but it goes to a tiny little slit that actually looks as though it's blocked off. So if you're expecting to get cooling from there, you need to do some work. Got the motor here. Fake exhausts, hard plastic exhausts. Lots of panel lines all over it. It's a big fuselage, honestly. It is a big fuselage. Mm, I've got finger marks all over the bottom of mine. But obviously your wing just sits on there. It's got the screw places. Looks like... Uh, yeah, it looks like screws into brass. This is where you feed your wiring. No problem, there's the last cross. Lots of these hatches. Little exit hole there. 
for the air. Let's look at this end here. This is all plastic, so obviously your tailplane goes into there. And you screw down from the top. That's your elevator servo. Let's take a look at the tail on this side. Hmm. I thought you'd get a servo here for your rudder, but you don't. It goes into the fuselage. But again, uh, already connected, horn on, clevis tape. This is just a foam tail, so that could snap off. Be careful. This is all plastic moulding. It's got some plastic fins here. Don't know if they're for show or if they actually do anything. This is all decals. Really nice though. My goodness. Let's take a look at the cockpit. Okay, there's a big cockpit here. Which means there's a big hatch. I can hardly hold this thing. It's actually on a latch. The hatch is on a latch. So let's see if we can get this off. Twenty minutes later. Right, well that took some doing. But there is a latch here. If we pull that back, we can take the canopy off. There's the canopy. It's massive. It really is large. It's got a little bit of decal detail in there. I like these. They could do with being painted and a bit more work doing to them. Here's something I've done. Put that back there. I've got another hatch here. There you go. But this one I'll cut the plastic away and I'll use it for my camera. That's the one that came with that. That's my spare. And while we're talking about spares, I have a spare prop and I have a spare spinner. So should anything untoward happen, I've got spare ones. So that is pretty massive. In fact, this is that large, that long, They've put a spar in it, a carbon spar, to reinforce it. Wow. And that is cavernous. That is huge. You can see where it was holding down by the paint. It's held on by the paint. Unfortunately, I've had to pull the paint off. Here we have the Reflex V2. Already positioned, already stuck in. A massive cables. Rudder, elevator, aileron, throttle and mode. Now mode allows you to switch this system. You can switch it off. You can have it in what I'm calling AS3X mode, and you can have it in full safe mode. It's got a steerable nose wheel. It's brilliant. It's got an XT60 in it. A lot of the ones I've seen come with this. Or an EC3. This one's got an XT60, which I love. Right back here, it's got the rudder servo. I wonder why they put it there. Oh well. Yeah, big battery tray, Velcro already on it, loads of space. So I guess your battery goes somewhere in this region. Probably end up putting my receiver next to the reflex system. Try and get that all in. I'm having trouble holding this thing, you know. It's that big. Look at that. Whoa. 
loads of space. And what have we got here? We've already read what we've got, haven't we? It's a Predator 40 amp ESC. Yeah, very nice. Let's flip that over. Here's your retract cover. So we can't look at those, I'm afraid, until we get it all set up. I think this might be painted black, make it look a bit better, make it stand out a bit. But that is brilliant. My goodness. Wow. That is really cool. That is a long aircraft. And it's sleek. To me, it's the type of aircraft that looks as if it's moving even though it's not. It looks like a shark to me. It reminds me of a shark. Don't think I'll be building this one anytime soon because I have no space. I've got to find space. I might have to start letting some of the, what I call the lesser aircraft go. The ones that I don't fly anymore. Yeah, brilliant. And there we have the Pilatus PC-21 Swiss Red Scheme. Thanks for watching. Do stay safe and well. I look forward to you joining me on another video. Cheers.